the City 17. Once we're in board, we'll have to sneak you out. There's a couple of guards in the next room. I can distract them, but you'll have to stay low and get past them quickly. You got it? Alright, tell me when you're ready. Remember, stay low. to bother you, but I think I misplaced my food rations. <laughs> uh, you haven't seen them anywhere by chance, have you? <laughs> Damn, that sucks. I really wanted to try out the new cheese supplement.
Finally, you made it. And in one piece, too. This sure ain't no ordinary cruise night. We'll let the soldiers sort this mess out. Oh, and don't worry about this one. I only knocked him out. Now all we have to do is wait for the ship to arrive to City 17. It won't be too long, but we better get off the bridge. Sector 17. Here we are, the city dock. I'm afraid the guards out there won't take kindly to a guy walking around with a gun. You'll have to leave it here, just drop it in that box. Alright, I can't go with you, but somebody should be here to pick you up at the checkpoint. Good luck. Gosh, it really is you, isn't it? And yeah, Gordon, it's me, Barney. Wasn't sure if you still remembered me. I'm working for civil protection. Uh, undercover, obviously. Still, have to meet my beating quota. 
<laughs> but don't worry. I'm here to get you to safety. Well, whatever you could call safe nowadays. I'll escort you to the factory sector, but then you'll have to walk on your own for a while. Oh, but first, I think you should change into one of these worker suits. Draws less attention. All right, follow me. And try not to look conspicuous. You know, when we got the news you might be coming to City 17, I really didn't know what to think. It's been so long since Black Mesa. We all kind of assumed you just went missing. Forever. Good to have you back, Gordon. We really could use more good things. And good people around us. You have chosen or been chosen to relocate to one of our finest remaining urban centers. I thought so much of City 17 that I elected to establish my administration here in the citadel so thoughtfully provided by our benefactors. I've been proud to call City 17 my home. And so, whether you are here to stay or pass All right, through here's an entrance into the inner city. We rarely use this checkpoint. Usually get people in by train. But I guess you've always been exceptional. Remember, once you're in, go through the industrial site and to the terminal plaza. You can't miss it. Just follow the streets. When you're at the train station, find security. It'll be empty, and I'll contact you there. Don't worry about the turrets. Been inactive since the war. Before that, this was one of the checkpoints, you know, during the portal storms. The force field is new, though. Let me see if I can reroute the power. Got it. All right, Gordon, you should go now. Get to the station and I'll contact you. Good luck.
one of you and them for who are you? There is a system of collectors nearby. We should use them to make our history is gay.
Unidentified person of interest. Confirm your initial assembly with local protection team immediately. Word of advice? Keep away from the cops. They're ticked off today, more so than usual. Hey! Keep away from the cops. They're ticked off today, more so than usual. I saw a guy get beat just for looking at one funny today. You want a word of advice? Keep away from those cops. They're ticked off today and even more so than usual. deactivate the suppression field and let us breed again. Allow me to address the anxieties underlying your concerns, rather than try to answer every possible question you might have left unvoiced. First, let us consider the fact that for the first time ever, as a species, immortality is in our reach. This simple fact has far-reaching we can't be seen talking to each other. If I talk to you out here, we're almost dead. No more. Instinct. Instinct was our mother when we were an infant species. Instinct coddled us and kept us safe in those hard scrabble years when we hardened our sticks and cooked our first meals above a burning fire and started at the shadows that leapt upon the cavern's walls. But inseparable from instinct is its dark twin superstition. Instinct is inexplicably bound to unreasoning impulses, and today we clearly see its true nature. off your tail. There's a route, a service tunnel, that'll lead you to the quarantine sector. Used to be a construction yard until just recently. Something happened. They cordoned the place. And only the higher ranks know any details. It'll be tough, but this is your best bet. In the room across, there's a hatch that leads right into the service tunnel. Shit, we don't have any time left. Go through to the site and find me at the city arcade. Be careful!
but you'd be more crazy to stay. I can get you out of here, though. I certainly owe you that much. In case you're curious, long story short, some idiots decided it would be a good idea to smuggle out one of the canisters and see what's inside. And now, all of that inside is, well, outside. They are out, and my whole crew is a mindless zombie mob like it's some kind of horror film.
took care of four of them back there, so there should be four more left. I think Lewis made it out alive. I hope he did. was my old crew. God damn it. Now I'm the only one left. <sighs> hey, I think I can fix that control panel. Could you give me your crowbar? Go through while it's open. Don't worry about me.
see its true nature. The instinct has just become aware of its irrelevance. And like a cornered beast, it will not go down without a bloody fight. Instinct would inflict a fatal injury on our species. Instinct creates its own aggressors and bids us rise up against them. Instinct this is my third transfer this year. A threat rather than an opportunity. Instinct slyly and covertly compels us away from change. Word the wise. Keep it to yourself. I can't must be expunged. Everything's gonna be okay. It must be fought what are we going tooth to do? and nail, beginning with the basest of human urges. The urge to reproduce. We should thank our benefactors for giving us respite from this overpowering force. They have thrown a switch and exercised our demons in a single stroke. They have given us the strength we never could have summoned to overcome this compulsion. They have given us purpose. They have turned our eyes toward the stars. Let me assure you. Was that you knocking? I didn't even know we still had a door. Off on the day that we have mastered ourselves, the day we can prove we no longer need it. And that day of transformation, I have it on good authority, is close at hand.
If I talk to you out here, we'll both be in trouble. I'd like to help you, but it's out of the question. Don't drink the water. They put something in it to, to make you forget. I don't even remember how I got here. Don't sit near me. It'll look suspicious. No in town, aren't you?
Good on you for not making too much noise in the streets, Gordon. I'm afraid I'll have to leave you one more time. One last time, I promise. Next time we talk, I'll get you right to Dr. Kleiner. That being said, I can't go with you right now. You'll have to go out on your own. There's an old radio tower just outside the arcade. From there, you can get underground and get to Kleiner's workshop. The tunnels have a lot of nasty things in them, so you better take this. But keep low, at least until you're down there.
Ah, oh, there you are. I was wondering how long it would take you. You always had a knack for solving elaborate routes, Gordon. The lab is right here, believe it or not. I think we're pretty well hit. Dr. Kleiner came up with some sort of radio repellent for the scan bots, so they're discouraged from accidentally flying by and taking shots. But enough talk. I can't wait to see Dr. Kleiner's face when he sees you step into his lab. Hey, Doc! Dr. Kleiner! Back here, Barney! Doc, there's someone here to meet you. What? Of all people, you should know better than letting strangers in here. Oh, I think we can trust this guy. Oh, my goodness. Gordon Freeman. So it was true. We heard you were coming back, but I couldn't believe it. Yet here he is. Indeed. You know, Gordon, you arrive at a very crucial time. We certainly could use a man of your many talents. So what's the plan, Doc? I was gonna find us a transport, leave the city. But Barney, we've discussed it before. I am convinced that we should send Gordon directly to Kraken Base. Come on, Doc, how the hell am I supposed to get him there? You're not. I've been working on my prototype, and I've already ran some successful tests. Some? Seven, to be precise. Seven in a row. There is nothing to worry about. The crew of the base and I have made some major strides since... Since the cat? Since... well... Let's just say I, I, I do feel very positive about our chances. I still say we should leave the usual way. There is no way anymore. The Metro Police are more alarmed than ever. They're rounding people up right in the streets. I barely made it here without being arrested. Damn it. All right. Can we at least give him the suit? Oh, you're right. I almost forgot. This way, Gordon. I got it from an old colleague who managed to keep his connections. He suggested that I could fix it and one day perhaps find some use for it. I suppose the day has come. Mark 5. It's almost as you remember it, although I've made a few modifications. Still, there's only so much I could do with the tools I have. Try it on. Welcome to the HEV Mark. I'm sorry. I'm afraid it will never be as new. Well, at least you can now charge it from any standard combine power panel. Guys, let's get moving. Show them what you've been working on, Doc. I never stopped our research on teleportation. With the help of my colleagues, old and new, we managed to compress the Zen relay beyond anything we ever dreamt of. Now we can use it to transfer you to Kraken Base momentarily. Literally. The thing still gives me the shivers. I don't think I told Gordon about the cat yet. There is no time. Gordon, if you please, climb into the telepod and we can begin. Sealing the pod. Standard compression protocol. Primary coordinates set. Relay mode setting two. Uh, Barney? Yeah. There on the desk, there should be a plate with the name Yukawa. Uh, could you read me the number on it? Uh, uh, it's, uh, uh, 9979379 3, 3, 3, 7. You got it? Thank you. I was just checking my parameters. All right, Gordon. Everything's fine. Don't worry. Transferring you in five, four, three, two, one. Kraken Base reported. We got him. Is he still in one piece? Absolutely. Everything worked like. Wait, hold on. I'm detecting relay fibrillation. Field integrity down nine, twelve, fifteen percent. He's beginning to oscillate. 
No, Gordon! No, wait, we're losing him again. It. I can't. The seal must have melted. Gordon, hold still. I'll try and pry it open. Wait! Marty, get back! Gordon! Gordon, can you hear me? There you go. Doc, I think he's okay. Doc? Oh, shit. Marty? The telepod. Doc, it's busted. There's no point. We have to leave. Is Gordon... Alive? He's fine. Look at me. We have to leave now. Gordon, we can't stay here. It's best if we split. Me and Doc will try our old escape route, but you need to leave the city ASAP. If only Dr. Mossman was there. She'd know. Come on. She could have stopped you the way out. it. I'll take care of Dr. Klein. You take care of yourself.